Hi everyone, it's Jean Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and I'm here with another janitorial supervisor training tip. So one of the important roles of a janitorial supervisor is customer relations because they tend to have a lot of interactions with your customer, whether it's in person or someone calls them with a complaint or whatever it is. So they need to be thinking like the customer. A lot of times we get so wrapped up in how busy we are in our own little world, we don't think about it from the, cu from the customer's perspective. So I want you to be thinking about how you can introduce some examples to your supervisors to get them thinking like the customer. So all you need to do is to start by asking them to think about a customer experience that they might have had in the past, not related to the cleaning business, but just something that, you know, for example, might have happened in a restaurant. So you know how it is when you're going there for lunch and you're in a hurry and you want your food out right away and of course it's always late, right? And so, you know, maybe it's a situation where the server didn't seem to care or didn't seem concerned or apologetic. So get them talking about a particular situation that happened to them and maybe if this is the situation, then get them thinking about, um, first of all, what happened and then get them to talk about what the server could have done differently or better to make that situation go a lot smoother and make the customer happy, make them happy. And then also get them to maybe even write out um, what the experience felt like as, as if they were writing a customer review online. You know how you go on and get those Google reviews and people are talking about their bad experience? I want them to write it out. What was that like? Because you know what? People are going online and writing about their experience with cleaning companies these days too. So that gets them in the mindset of, oh my gosh, you know, they could go online and they could complain about our company. What can I do to improve this situation? So the next thing I want you to do is present a situation or get them thinking about a situation that they've had to deal with, difficult situations with the customer. And if they can't think of anything immediately, here's an example that you could use. Present them with um, a, a situation where they get a call from your customer complaining because there, were tr there was trash set aside and no one picked it up. So you know how it is when people work in the offices or cleaning things up and they maybe stack a pile of boxes up against a wall and they want you to take it out for the trash, right? Well, if it's not marked for trash, it's like, okay, what do I do? Do I take it out? Do I leave it? What do I do? So in this situation, the trash wasn't marked, so the cleaner didn't take it out. And the next day they come to work and the person that put it there expecting it to be taken out yells at them and says, why didn't you take this out? I put this here for you to take it out. And of course, then the cleaner gets defensive and they're like, well, nobody marked it as trash, so I didn't take it. And so they, you know, they kind of push back in not a good way. So get the, get your supervisors and maybe this has happened to them personally, get them talking about, well, what could have they, what could they have done to handle this much better? You know, and one of the things they could do is simply, um, a lot of companies have stickers. So trash, not trash. So you give the customer the stickers and say, you know what, the next time you have boxes, if you would just mark this as trash, then I'll know to take it out. That would be really helped me out a lot because I really just wasn't sure it wasn't marked. So I didn't want to take something out that wasn't supposed to be taken out to the trash. So you can just handle things differently, get them talking about this kind of a situation. Okay. So, um, that's a good conversation starter to get them thinking like the customer and improve their customer relations skills. So if you would like more tips like this, I've got a complete janitorial supervisor video training program, very comprehensive, covers all aspects of being a better janitorial supervisor, and that is available at thejanitorialstore.com. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.